What's up, up Beverly Hall family? family? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel guys, y'all already know today, today is, is going, going down, down in a major way. way! If you guys haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. <laughs> comment down below, early, early gang, 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 gang. If you guys want to be a part of our early, early gang, gang post, post notification, notification squad. squad. Oh my gosh, that throws me so way back. And that's gonna stay. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Because the Belly Yard family started that. I know. What are you guys up to? How has life been? What's going on with you guys right now? We have so many updates so to share with you guys. So much to share with you, man. Like, we're really so excited, excited. For today's video. Yes. I'm so excited. I know. So, like, basically, and don't mind me, guys, Caden caught a little, like, sinus, and I think he gave it to me, so I kind of sound, like, drainy, because I'm really nasally up here right now. My nose has been running all day. Um, he gave it to me, too. They, oh, my uh, God. I, I caught it just a little bit. Yeah, but otherwise, everyone is feeling so good around here. If you can probably tell, we're in a new location. But before we get into that, we're going to share with you guys some other things that have been going on in our life. Yes. So, basically, let's start with Braylon because I feel like he's the most important. Hold on, first, first, first. Oh, go ahead. Happy Mother's Day oh, to yeah. everybody. All of Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's Day, guys. God bless you. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. And I just hope that every single mother out there feels so special yes. and loved by their family. Guys, give your mamas a break tomorrow. Let her have one day of peace and relaxation. And she relaxation. only saying that because she want to be relaxed, y'all. <laughs> and make sure that your mama feels so good and loved. Give her a hug. Tell her that you love her because yes. it's so important. And it means the world to us. Like, us mothers need yes, that sometimes. Do. But obviously, next, well, Braylon to me is the most important. I think he's, like, so important to us. Obviously, he's yeah, our child. Yeah, thank you. And his health is like beyond one of our greatest blessings to date. We're just so thankful yes, for him. So thankful for and him. Every single day I look at this kid, I'm just like blown away at his life. It feels like a miracle to me to even be able to touch him, hold him, hug him. I'm just so glad that God saved his life through the power of prayer, guys. Yes. That will always <laughs> be. And look I at his braids. braids. He has yeah. braids in his hair. Yeah. And he's like a grown man now. Like, He's trying to grow up on us, y'all. Yeah, isn't it crazy how big you got? And Braylon did a phenomenal job at, you know, the Heart Foundation, Children's yes. Heart Foundation. Yeah. Everything went phenomenal at that event. We was just so happy and just blessed to just meet so many of you heart warriors and just heart families, you know? Yes, Such we as apologize, us. honestly, for not filming it and making it a long-form video. Guys, we had so much going on in our life in the month yes. of April that we just... All of our plans kind of just got changed and shifted. And you know, when God changes your plans, it's for a reason. And you just have to go with the flow and adapt. So yes. we didn't film like a long form video of it, but the heart march was so beautiful. We got to be honored on behalf of you guys. We called the team Beverly, uh, Braylon Strong. I'm sorry. Yes, we Strong. called the team Braylon Strong and he was honored for raising over $18,000 for pediatric cardiac heart research and just children and families in need which was so special because yeah. we're so proud of you for Very using your story you, for God's glory. And it's just such a blessing to have this child. Like he's yes. such a freaking superhero and we love yes, him so much. So much. This was, that was just great and phenomenal. And what we got coming up, uh, we headed to Memphis for... Yes, yeah, so we're, we're headed to Memphis, Tennessee this week. We are going to be honored again by St. Jude's Children's Hospital. They chose our family to come and be a part of their Creator Summit, which is such a blessing. Again, without you guys, none of this would be none possible. None of this would be possible. Like, we are so, like, excited about this. We are just so happy that we can just shed light and be just helpful to the community period i yes. always wondered what god wanted us to do with our platform other than make people smile and laugh and, laugh. and feel encouraged yes. to just be a family and take care of their self and their health and it just really feels like it hits home for us that god this is what god called us to do to really just be a part of these children's lives and to be a voice for them and i'm just so blessed guys we're going to saint jude like saint that's jude. so freaking Braylon, how, do, how do you feel about all of this happening Braylon? how do you feel about all of this it really eventually it was going to happen but it would happen even faster just because of part of your story how do you feel about this Honestly, I feel so grateful and happy that we're a healthy family again yeah. and that we don't have to ever go through the the rough times and we had such a rough journey but now 
you know, we're safe and I'm real happy about that. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love you yes, so much, dude. You. you just don't know how much your story really blesses the world. And I'm just so, just so proud of you being yes. my child. Honestly, yep. it means the world to me. So some other things we have going on. We're going to like three different yes. events out in LA. Um, then we're going to a dinner in New York. Marco and I are going to be super busy. The um, second half of this month. Sorry, my nose is like it's me. okay, babe. But um, we're so excited um, to just be traveling and to have these opportunities. They mean so much to us. But let's get to the actual meat of this video, which is the new location. Yes, the new location, guys. We we're so excited to share this with you. Officially move, y'all. You guys were not expecting this. We kind of didn't expect it, but we were we... not expecting this. As you know, like our last home was our forever home. Yes. So we thought, but that I was guess our you dream never say home, never, y'all. and you never say forever. Yes. <laughs> because we just put so much into that home. We put so much of our time and energy yes. into trying to invest in it. We basically, we never really mentioned it because we don't like to go into like finances and details, but a lot of people are confused and they're wondering like, well, how, how, why, why aren't you there? So basically, and I said it on a short video, but Marco and I were in a lease to own. So when we were looking to get this home, our dream home, we were looking, yes. looking, looking, and- And we found our- <laughs> Marco's phone died, of yes, course, in the died. middle <laughs> of it. But basically we were looking for our dream home and our real estate agent, we have a very honest real estate agent. She was like, you know guys, everything is kind of through the roof right through now. Like roof. you're not gonna get your money's worth. Everybody's buying, like it's a hot market. Like. You don't really have to buy right now if you don't want to, and we're expecting it to cool off. So yes. we're like, okay, cool. Well, what's like another option that we could do that would be smart financially that we could do to invest into real estate? And she was like, well, you know, there's this home that you could get into. It's a very high lease, but you can basically Lease to do purchase. It. We yeah. did a lease to purchase. With that being said, that's what we did. So we went through that whole process for... So basically, if you don't know what a, le a regular lease is like a lease, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can do a lease option or you can do an owner carry. There's different ways that you can finance a property. And so the reason why we said it was our forever home is because we were putting all of yes. our eggs in this basket yes, forever. Yes. And we were and investing every single month yes. into this home. Like every single lease payment would basically, we had an agreement with the owner that we would get the home for a discounted price basically because yes. we paid already. Yes, and we and we basically, you know, was in that process of buying a home. Well, like, that's where we come to that part. Yes. Right? So basically, our lease started in February of 2022, and it was up January 31st of 2023. Yes. And so we had already been talking with the owner. Like, we sat down. We had a really intimate dinner with the husband and we were like hey we are so serious about purchasing your home like i know it's been on the market and the home was on the market the whole time as the whole well, time we was there but they respected us and took the address off of the home so like people could come visit it but you had to like show how much money you had to come visit it and stuff and basically someone could you buy had to, it, you had to but, show proof of funds in order to even come look at the home Yes. So someone could have bought it, but nobody did. So we're like, okay, this is our sign. Nobody's buying the home. We really love the home. Like, yeah. let's just talk to the owner and tell him, like, before this lease is up, we are seriously considering, like, we want to purchase this home. And he's like, okay, I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you guys purchase my home. And so we're like, okay, that's great. So we started working with him and we started, like, you know, getting the financials and everything ready, all the documents and stuff that you need yes. to back in December. Yeah, November, December. December. And we wanted to close in January. In January, However, but the 1st of January. Our baby's health was way more important to us than finishing up that paperwork. A cardiac arrest. Yes. So it threw us a whole curveball left and right and left and right. It threw our whole minds off. We wasn't even thinking about a house or anything. We was just no. thinking about life and, and just happiness. Getting back on track. Yes. Yeah. So then it comes up to January and our lease is up and they're like, okay, well, here's what we'll do. We'll do an addendum. And this addendum is going to basically be like a month to month. So you guys will lease for month by month. And basically like this percentage of this lease will go towards your home if we, if you close. Right. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, cool. So we got to March and so you can think probably from January well, one, I lost my brother in December, and then yeah. just in the even January, that too, yeah. like threw us off track because Braylon's health was compromised. 
And then February, we were trying to just get back on track and still paying super close attention to Braylon and just adjusting to having yes. kids with medical needs in our home. So by March, the end of March, March, we finally went into escrow on this home. And we're like, yes. yay, we love this. Like, yes, finally, yes. it's going to happen. We're going to close when, on our home. We're yes. going to be homeowners and we're going to be so excited. And um, we were this close to closing. Yes, this close to closing. And we were supposed to close the and weekend we, before we went on the cruise. Yes, the weekend before we went on the cruise, yep. But then Marco and I went on the cruise. The actual escrow officer had went on a vacation, and she wasn't able to close the deal. And so Marco and I were like, okay, well, let's go on the cru cruise, and then it'll kind of just be like a present to all of us that we're about to close on our home. Yes. And then when we get back, we'll close, and it'll be super exciting, and we can just move on with our lives, and everything's going to be good, right? wrong so <laughs> it just a series of events came up basically in order to close on this home um we were asked to waive the home inspection um on the home and like that's okay it was fair because they knew we were living in the home yeah and we basically knew the ins and outs of the home we knew yes. what was working what wasn't working this and that we had some things that weren't working that yes. we wanted to get working and we were going to work it out with the owners like to just fix it and everything but the more and more Marco and I thought about it, it's like, you know, this is our family home and we really want to make sure that if we're going to invest the next however long of our life. Shoot, that, that was a life. That was like, this is a lifelong investment. Life, life investment. Like, that's, that's like, basically when you buy a home, you're marrying that. You're marrying asset. it. Asset. You're marrying that you're person. Marrying it, and yeah. you're, you're investing all of your everything into it. And so we're like, you know, I don't really feel comfortable with closing without getting a home inspection. Yes. So we went ahead and we got a home inspection anyway. And also there was CC and R's that came back and we just didn't necessarily yes. agree with some things in the CC and R's of the HOA. Yeah. So basically when the home inspection came back, I'm not going to get into the details because I don't want to make it seem like the home was like inoperable. Obviously we were living in it. There were yes. certain specific things that Marco and I already had in mind, for instance, like the home is beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful home, gorgeous home, home, but it's tailored for a specific type of person, right? So the floors were this deep, dark green, like Marco's deep, color green, yeah. of his shirt. Green. And they were mine. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Your color, my color. Yeah. And we loved them. We thought they were beautiful, but we wanted, we film and we want our home to be more bright yes. and like you know, easier to film in and easier to decorate and things like that. Yeah, it was so, so hard to decorate. Oh my yeah, God. We already knew that we were going to have to rip up the floors and that yes. was already like multiple six figures to yes. do that. And then to lay new floors was going to be like even more multiple six figures to wow. do that. And then the things that came up in the home inspection, it was going to be more to do that. You yeah. know, I don't want to say whatever, but um, it just looked like for the price that we were going to be closing on and the money we were going to have to put into it to make it really tailor our home to and us our family. all the way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It just, it wasn't what we wanted to do. So mm -hmm. on the cruise, once we looked at the home inspection, because the, the home inspection came back to us while we were on the cruise. Yes. And we looked it over and we're like, oh, do we want to do that too? Yes. Do we want to do that too? And we finally were just like, you know, it's not worth it for us. Like, the home is beautiful. I think it'll make a beautiful family home for whoever ends up in it or if the original owners decide to stay there. But it just wasn't the right home for, for us yeah. after knowing everything that we did yeah. for that year. Yeah. And luckily, <laughs> right whenever yes. we decided to give our 30 day notice, because we could have stayed in that home and we could have continued to lease it, but we felt like it was gonna be a waste of our yes, money because we, the only reason why we got into the lease was to buy it to buy yes yeah we was bought the clothes we was like really this close this close to closing and we chose not to because of stayed. all of the things that we had to really like put into it to make us up make it ours when you're spending that type of money you want to be able to walk into something that's already yours like like that's already how you actually actually want it to yeah. where no changes no big changes that you need to make yeah, so, I mean, you know, the home was still on the market. That was the thing. And it just started to feel like an invasion of privacy because our address had got leaked while we were there. And yeah. it had been seen already by hundreds of thousands of people. We're still behind double guard gates. Like, it's not that big of a deal. We were okay with still moving in it, knowing that our privacy had been breached. But to stay in it and lease it without having the 
want to buy it would have just not made financial sense yeah, for sense us. Yes, sense for us. So because we would have stayed, any but place, it wouldn't have been like yes, worth yes. it because we're just paying a lease. Then like the money is just being drained without any cause. There's yes. no like. So it was a cause for that whole thing. That was actually our dream home, but we exit out we walked out of the doors nobody else pushed it out of the door we made the decision to walk out the door yeah i know that there have been like people that try to make it seem like oh we got kicked out or like i think there's a rumor that's going around that somebody let us live there don't even worry about that no and that's just not the case so i just want to make sure and clear the air up that we would never like put that out there on the internet that we're moving into our dream home when we were just living in somebody else's home and there was yes. no intent to buy it. Like that just wasn't our goal. So our goal was to purchase the home at the end of the lease and it just didn't work out. But now we into new beginnings. <laughs> we are. New beginnings, y'all. And Remember it just so happened. happened. Tell me God is not good. God is so good. I was looking at this house before that house. That house, exactly. <laughs> So, and then, and then, like, it's just crazy how this This was happen. my actual, and I'm not even trying to be funny, guys. This was not, was this not my actual dream house? This was your actual. Did I not say I want a modern, up-to-date, bright, white, beautiful, modern yes, home? Yes. Look at this home right here. I said, Marco, we could never get that. Never. Yeah. Dang. Like, never. We'll never have it. And then our old house popped up, and I'm like... Well, at least we can do least own on that. Yes, yes, yes. But we liked it that home though, because that we home, that the home. boys loved that home, huh, Brandon? You loved yeah. it that home, huh? What did you like about that home so much? Which one? This one? The no, other the one. other one. The one thing that I liked about the home, uh, here's the first thing, my favorite thing that I liked about the home, is that every time mom ordered Uber Eats, I would like hear the little buttons clicking, and I would know that that means that she's gonna go. Oh, grab really? The food. That was my number one favorite thing, and my second favorite thing was the elevator. Oh. You liked the elevator? Even yeah. though I feel like we never used it. Well, we never even used but it. But I love that. Mm -hmm. well, so what did you not like about the home? Yes, what did you, what did you didn't like? Well, I think I have like several things I don't like about it. Uh, <laughs> but here's one thing. I don't like the green floors. And I don't I don't really like the, the floors outside either in the backyard. It doesn't oh. really match our modern. Oh, <laughs> Look at this okay. aesthetic kit. Yeah. For me personally, okay, so I'll tell you what I loved about that home. Um, I love my bedroom. I love that was the best. That was like really bedroom. our best. We best filmed area. in there more than anything because the floors were like creamy white marble, and it was yes. two stories, and it had the glass with our office above and the two story closet. I love that. That was my favorite thing. Yes. My least favorite thing about that house was the trauma that I had in that house. And I say that, I mean like a month after we moved in, Braylon had his first episode with his cardiac arrest. And then at the end of our lease in January, Braylon like died in our living room and came back to life in our garage. And like, I have like that trauma every time oh, I would walk yeah. through that garage of like Braylon and the image of him on the ground and me trying to save his life. Like that was like traumatic for me. So. That to me is like the only thing I didn't like about the house is that I always have that image in my mind of what happened. Um, but other than that, like I loved it. I didn't like the green floors. Yeah, the green floors killed me. I didn't like the yellow Every marble. time I walked in, the yellow marble and the green floors and the colors on the uh, waterfall. Oh yeah, and the that stuff on is, the waterfall, I didn't that like That stuff is a big change also, and we wanted, a very expensive change. Yeah, and we <laughs> wanted to change out a lot of the chandeliers. Yes. We wanted to change out a lot of the backyard patio. A lot of things. Like, a lot, we had a lot of things. Like it was. Yes, it we was loved the home, but it was just a lot of changes in once. We the, wanted to paint the whole thing. Yes, a lot of things. Outside. We wanted to paint the whole, like so much stuff. But we didn't live in that home. We didn't choose that home. Uh, God had something better for us. We moved on. Well, it was funny because I went back looking. I was like, oh my gosh, the home that I wanted before this home is back on the market. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh. So basically, I'm just going to be transparent with you guys because it'll just be put out there again. We're in the same situation. We like to try homes before we buy homes. So we are again in a lease option. So we have spoken to the owner of this home and we're like, hey, we really love your home, but we're not willing to like just like barge into something right now so do you mind if we do a lease like option with you and so the owner here was very receptive to it he's like you know live in it see how you like it and then we can talk about purchasing it within like the next six months or so and so that's where we're at with this home and we feel really happy and comfortable with that because yes. I feel like any time that you're making a huge big 
purchase, if you can try it before you buy it, 100% do that. It's so much better than like, just like finding a home, touring it for a second, and then putting all your eggs in that basket. So there's just so many things that I love about this home. I don't think we're gonna do a home tour exactly. You guys will obviously see a lot of our home because we do content yes. in it and it's our place of business as well as where we um, raise our family. But just for privacy concerns this time, we're gonna be a little bit more scaled back this time. Um, I will say that- Cause it's a lot of, uh, you know, Jealous people out there. Um, that's just what happens whenever you're on the internet and we understand that, but we're gonna try to respect our boundaries as best as we can. We will show some of our home. Yes. Um, and we'll, we'll show a lot of it, but I'm, I'm just not gonna like, I don't feel like we need to do like an entire home tour. Do you want a house tour? Do you think that we shouldn't do a house tour this time? Because we're kinda, I was fed up to the point, I'll be honest. I was like, I'm not doing a house tour. I am so fed up with, like privacy being breached and stuff like that. So I was like to the point where I'm like, no, it's not happening this time. But I do feel like it is a part of our job. It's a part of what we do. And what do you I think? just, I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, doing a house tour is good and bad at the same, at the same time, because, you know, you always have those people that's trying to hurt a family or trying to discredit a family or trying their best to just make a family look bad, period. Yeah. You know, and then when you have those people that love you, care about you, that's so inspired from you, and those are the people that we love and we care about because- And we do this for. And we do this for. So mm -hmm. those are the pros and cons that comes with this. Yeah. But we are happy about our new journey, our new life, uh, <laughs> I love this home, guys. Braylon, yes, Braylon is happy. Like, all the boys got everything they need. They got their own room. Yes. They got food in their belly, roof over their head, uh, transportation. They got everything they need. Yes. Yes, the first time I ever walked in this home, um, whenever we were just getting into it and moving into it, I was just so shocked and it felt so cozy as soon as I walked in. Yeah, I know, right? We slept good scary. that first night. Yeah. And our garage is full of all type of stuff. I mean, like, we still ain't got everything in, moved in yet. It's yes. just, it's, ins it's insane. So we just been really taking our time, moving stuff in. Yeah. Uh, we've been decorating and stuff so far. We you see, we got a new couch. Yeah, we bought this couch. We just bought new stuff, y'all. We got so much we stuff. A new dining room table. Yes. I want to show you guys the decor. Like, I feel like it's so nice. Yes, we can show we we can show that in another video. It's almost inevitable to not like show your home when you're on YouTube. Yes. That's so it's like you, we you guys are gonna see it, but it's like you know we're just taking it easy and trying to be mindful and respectful. You know? Yes, just for our children's sake. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm really excited about our new home. I love it so much. It's more, like, open instead of, like, shut and divided into layers. It's more, like, open. Like, I love that I can be in my living room and I could still see all the way over to my other living yes. room and say hi to my kids or watch them eat. I love that I could see them while they're eating from the kitchen. And it's just so open in the first floor, which is really great for me. It's just me. so beautiful. And like it's their rooms beautiful. are so cozy and I'm so excited. Like I wanna take you guys along the journey to do their rooms because a lot of our furniture in the last home, it was already furnished. So we didn't have to go out and spend extra money to get Braylon a bedroom set or Cannon already had a bedroom set, but his is from our old, old home. So yes. like we wanna redo their home, their rooms and we wanna make them feel special and unique and like, just happy and just like yes. make it full of and we want to and we want to do our little ladies room you know once that happened you know you never know i mean you never know i want a baby girl and you heard it Braylon getting older Braylon getting older y'all he almost about to i know just he is getting one more years but no but you're gonna be my baby older. forever you don't have to move out until you're 30. 30. He ain't gonna wanna be your 30 year old. I know he's not. He ain't gonna wanna do no room. He ain't gonna wanna do no chores at 30 years old. I know he's gonna be like, Mom and Dad, I'm tired of you guys. I'm ready to move I'm on. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm gone. No. Oh, but I'm guys. Gonna be kind of I'll go ahead. Sad. But I'm gonna be kind of sad because I'm gonna remember this home, all the history in it. Oh. That's a long time from now, so. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, man, you you gonna be around, man. You gonna be around a long time. You gonna have to come drive us around sometimes. I think Hope honestly, you get your too, license. like this home is just like less stress. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, less stress. Like all together, it's just less stress. A lot of you know, great vibes, great presence in here. Well, we we actually okay. looked at two homes before we moved here. Remember, and we had a choice between this home and another home, and. We liked the other home a lot, but the other home was so relaxing that like it made me not want to work. I was like, this is my home that I get when I'm like 40 years old and I just want to chill in the backyard. Hey, what you talking about 40? You 60. You're 60. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. You 60 but years old. Home... What are you talking about? You just turned 60 April 19. Well, anyways, my 30 year old self. <laughs> we, be, we, be, we be joking with each other with, with our ages, so we don't do. mind We, we call each other old man and old woman. And you're, yeah. <laughs> and you're still 81. I know, right? <laughs> see? See how they be playing with me? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. To me, like a bright white environment, when you wake up, it's like you're ready to work. You're ready to like. You're ready to go. It gives you film. energy. You're ready it gives to, you. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just so nice. And everything just like, I feel more inspired to do my makeup every day now because I'm like, it's just so yeah, she bright. Yeah, she's been doing more get ready with me than get ready with me. Oh, the cleaning videos is coming. I just haven't did it yet. I've been doing it undercover though. Slow, slow post, slow post. We have so much to unpack. So much to just like put away, and yes. I feel like maybe once we're finally settled, we'll give you guys a little something. Guys, if you don't know, now you know. We are feature creators at, at VidCon. I, I cannot believe we forgot about that. No, we didn't forget. I didn't forget. June 21st to the 24th, we will see you there. We are feature creators, we are performing, yes. we are doing a big, y'all. So yes. make sure, and we got a meet and greet, and we speaking, y'all. Yeah, it's crazy. We're speaking, we have a meet and greet. You just said it all, that's insane. Yes, it's gonna be phenomenal. I cannot we can't wait to see you at VidCon. Yes. Raylan gonna be in the building, oh Cannon gonna be yes. in the building, the whole family gonna be in the building. Yeah. We Even love you guys. Even our mamas are gonna be in the building. Yes. I'm so uh, excited. Without to that, without you guys, none of this will be possible. We thank you guys so much. It's a blessing. Yes. Thank you guys so much. And we yes. will see you on, on a what? What'd you say? I was going to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. But, um, I was going to say, I love VidCon so much. In last year's VidCon 2022, we got to meet so many big creators and other creators I know, that was and say fun. hi. And I'm so excited for this next year, VidCon, who this do you, year. Who do you want to meet at VidCon this year? I think I want to meet FGTV again. Oh, uh, FGTV? FGTV? Okay. Who else? Hold on, who else? Um, maybe Kalis. Kalis okay. again? Okay. okay. These are all, it's so fun to like. A lot of gamers are going to be there too. Okay. Yeah, to take Braylon to VidCon is like. I can't wait for well, Cannon. Well, this time Cannon's gonna. This time Cannon's gonna. Yeah, Cannon gonna. Cannon's gonna be there this time because he's a feature creator also. So with that being said, we can't wait to see his face light up he's and meet some of his favorite favorite creators also with, with his big brother break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be so nice. Cannon's gonna freak out. Yes. I'm actually looking forward to how Cannon reacts when he sees like like say if Mr. Beast is there again, Cannon's oh gonna God. lose it. Cannon's yeah. gonna wow. lose it. <laughs> Man. Oh, you know who's going to be there? Who? Oh, never mind. But yeah. A lot of people's going to be there. Cannon's You're going to be there. Because we, we can't wait to meet you. We love you guys. And we will see you on the next video. Peace! We had a really big problem, so we took our family to the Hoover Dam for some fun. We walked across the big bridge there, and then we all raced go-karts to see who was the fastest. Oh, cannon! I'm about to catch him, I'm about to catch him! After that, we went home to play tic-tac-toe to find out who was the best player of the day, but then weird stuff started happening. Someone pulled my hair, but no one was there, and my phone got knocked off the table by itself. Then we looked at the alien, and this was coming from the bottom. Come on, get the baby. Come on, babe. We gotta go, man. Let's get about this house, dude. We got so scared and left the house immediately with our kids. While we were on a dark, scary street, our car stopped. The car stopped, babe! It is Thursday, January 4th, which means we are officially 10 days away from Caden's third birthday party. Isn't that crazy? He's three. He'll be three years old. I'm just excited about my little man growing up on us so fast and he's back there knocked out. 
Him and so both of them. Cannon, I told Cannon to get up, but he don't want to get up. Let's see, is Braylon knocked out? No, Braylon's in the building. Okay. I'm trying to get out of the house right now. I'm making lots of phone calls to like solidify the last details of Caden's birthday party. We don't know if we want to go this way or that way. So that's what we've been doing while we're on this little journey to the Hoover Dam. We haven't been here in God knows how long, for like four years. Nice to just kind of get out and touch grass and <laughs> like just be Grass, what grass? We're in the desert, touch some <laughs> dirt. The Hoover Dam is huge and it lies between Arizona and Nevada. So you actually end up driving through time whenever you cross over the state line. You gotta go through security before you can even get in here. What kind of top secret stuff is going on in here to where they gotta ask you to roll down windows they gotta look at every single person in your car this is the part that we'd never been to so basically that long walk takes you to the top of this bridge so that you can see directly into the hoover dam everybody's warm guys marco why didn't you tell us it was going to be negative 85 degrees it ain't negative 85 <laughs> but it's a nice little temperature what's your name Melody. Yeah. she's gonna be on our vlog she's part of the beverly hall family so we're taking a picture with her right now where's oh, the hoover sweet. dam Awesome. So nice to meet you, Yes. Kayden, what do you think? Are you warm? My feet are starting to hurt. No, that's there. because you don't use your legs enough. You're always trying to play the video game. You know, the higher we get up, the winter it's probably gonna get. I'm slightly afraid of heights, and so is Mark Hannon. It also looks kind of narrow, so let's see how we feel once we get to the top. Memorial Bridge. Oh, man. Are you guys ready? Where'd Braylon go? Don't be standing behind me all scared. No. Are you sure? Wow, just seeing this, enter at your own risk. No exit at end of walkway. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's crazy. Wow. This ain't GTA cannon where you could jump off and have nine lives. We are 1,500 feet up. Yeah, that is high. Cannon, you see how high that is? Look at that. Wow. God, that's a four, four, four. Go drop your phone. I'm not gonna drop it. Yeah, <laughs> jumping off this, this is gonna be insane. What are you doing? India. That was fun, but that was cold. Cold and fun and spooky at the same time. After visiting the Hoover Dam, Marco felt like he wanted a rematch to me in go-kart racing because last time I completely smoked him and won every single race. So it's on today. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go, baby. Hey, kid, you watching the race, nigga. You watching the race, nigga. Oh, cannon. Let's Come go, on, Cannon. Baby. You Let's go. Stop. You gotta go pee? Yeah. You ready to race? I'm a pro at this. Like, what do you mean? Like, You're a pro. Last time you were wrecking like Cannon was. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. <laughs> no, you were wrecking more than me. I beat everybody last time. All right, you got to go again. I have to go in there and give Mark Cannon a pet talk. I have to tell him, dude, you know how to do this. What are you nervous for? You already been doing this. You true to this, not new to this. You done did it before. I want to see you go out there and whoop butt. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Cannon. You got this. Cannon is doing so much better this round. With that dad and son talk, he had to just wake up this time because he was just not feeling himself. Right now, Mark Cannon's in second place. Driving like a real true champion today. Let's go, Cannon! So what he doesn't know is when he gets out, I got him his favorite. You guys know he loves Nerds Rope, so he's going to be so happy. Good job, Cannon! Good job, buddy, good job! Daddy's boy did a great job. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. You said you never give up and I never give up. Yeah, good job. Ooh. I swear to God, I'm about to show you guys that I am a real life go kart driver, okay? A like, real life go kart driver? Yeah, like, why do you think that I even want the 9 by go kart pro? He can't even beat me on this race, so how you think you're gonna get a nine go-kart 
bro, whatever it is. Nice. All right, guys, we're about oh, to get like it in. Villain. It's the best out of one, two, three. Marco, Brooke, and Braylon. You already know I'm gonna win. Like I already beat you like a thousand. We gonna see. We will. We shall see this win. I always win every time. Let's do okay, it. Okay, let's go get it. Once you get your headgear on, you gotta pick a helmet oh, that fits your big old head. Oh. <laughs> Braylon number 21, Brooke number 22, and I'm number 16. Yeah, I'm ahead of I'm about to catch her, 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 I'm about to catch her. No, 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 I'm not a fight. He's fighting, no, he's fighting. He's fighting, he's fighting. He's fighting, he's fighting. He's fighting, no, he's fighting. He's fighting, no, he's fighting. I'm coming, I'm coming. A number one, I came in first place, baby. Yeah! Yeah, no. yeah number one. Look who came in first place, Beverly Hall family. Marco! Sneeze. Every time I come back home, I feel just spooky. Hi, Nuggy. What? Which one of y'all trying to get beat in this tic tac? So I'm giving y'all y'all last chance to get your revenge. No, I'm seriously the best That's at tic tac toe. I'm ready. I'm going to win. This is my best game. Who do you think is going to win, Dad or Cannon? I think Dad's going to win because he has a sharper brain. Oh. I got to turn the fireplace on the toaster. Okay. I like it when it's warm in here. Go ahead. Do your thing, you Mr. Hall. Warm. All right. Oh. All right. Let's go, Cannon. Oh, he was smart. <laughs> Good job, Cannon, Cannon. First round. Good job. That was a cat's yeah. game. Okay, he's using his little brain, Beverly Hall family. He's using his little brain. Come on. Oh. Are you? Oh. oh. Who should I pick? Braylon or you? Or me. I'll pick Braylon. Braylon? All right, let's go, B. Oh. I knew Braylon was gonna do it. Let's go. Oh, what you think, Cannon? Who you think go win, Cannon? I think Braylon. You think Braylon go win? Oh, what he go do? I won. Oh. All I was trying to do was like come over here and get my ex to hit over there like that. What the hell was that, babe? Shit. Y'all get up out of here, man. Come on, man. This is it's bleeding, babe. Come on, get the baby. Get in the car, man. Get in the car. Come on, baby. We gotta go, man. Let's get up out this house, dude. Get in the car. Get in the car. Go. All right, back right there. Are you guys That's okay? Man, come on, man. We got. I don't know how to get rid of him. Go on. Go on. I am, man. Get up out of here. Penalty. What is that? Something weird happened in our house when we were away. I'm not going back to that house. Yes, you are. I'm not going back to the house. Okay. Our son, Cannon, noticed things moving around ever since Dad brought something inside. I told you. Cannon wasn't lying. Every December, we have a family tradition of going to a holiday maze, and it's so much fun. But this time, our trip got cut short because our security camera sent a message that someone was in our house. There's a person at the front door, and I just looked at the cameras really quick, and it looks like the freaking door is open, wide open. When I checked, nobody was there. There's no one in there except for the alien. We thought about staying in a hotel. Where are we going to go? Go to a hotel. I don't care. But I have to go back. Hey, we can't go back. The door's man. open. Well, I'm starting to trust the process, Mr. Hall. This looks yeah, actually really you nice. Know. Beverly Hall family, let me know what you guys think. Is Marco's decor choices coming together? Yeah, trust my process on decorating. 
I told you I'm not too the fond of her. The missus over there is relaxing. Hey, oh, Braylon. Oh. Hey, baby. You guys are, wait, 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 wait. What? You guys are all color coordinating today. Yeah, we're trying. Look at how nice you guys look. Braylon, you look nice. Cannon, okay. Wait, where's the baby? Hey. Huh? Oh my goodness. Hi. Him's Hi. mommy's little teddy bear. Him so cute. Oh, do you love him? He looks like a stuffy. <laughs> Kaden, are you ready to see the light? Christmas lights, good boy. Oh, he wants to give Gracie's corner a kiss. I love yeah. you. So every year it's a tradition that we go oh. see the Christmas lights. So we're gonna take the boys. You wanna go in mommy's car or daddy's car? I wanna go in your car. In mine? All right, let's go. Uh, I remember. I remember this place. Thank you, you too. We just now got to the Christmas maze and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like inside. It's so pretty. It's so The maze is straight ahead, but before we go inside, I think we should get some hot cocoa. Ooh, and brownies. Yeah, let's go get some brownies snacks. right here. I fell asleep already? You ain't gonna miss the fun. I ate it all, huh? It's gone. I only got a little piece in that bag. My ears are so cold, I feel like this is about to fall out of my hand right now. So we're getting ready to head into the maze and I'm gonna explain to you guys how this works. This maze is over 10 acres and covered in 5 million lights, which include 8 hidden stars. And the goal is to help Santa find the missing pieces to his timepiece with these scratch cards. Do y'all think we could do it? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's go spawn these stars. We made our way into the maze and then had to decide if we're going to go left or right. Which way are we going, Braylon? I said we go this way. We've covered about two acres of land and still no sign of any stars, but at least we got to meet some of you guys. So great to meet you. What's your name? Where are we going to find this star? Where are we going to find this star? I think it's safe to say this area is all clear. This is Cannon's third year to the maze, and the sensory dance floor is always his favorite, so of course we had to stop by it on our way to find the stars. When you step on a tile, it changes color or lights up, and that's his favorite part. We have to wake Caden up for this. He loves colors. And if we don't let him see this, it's gonna be really sad. You gotta wake up, Nugget. This is gonna be so much fun. Caden, there's colors. <laughs> Colorful man. You like all the colors, there they go. We still have not found a star. Oh, that's so crazy. Crazy. We've been looking, we took a dance break. We still can't oh, find a star. Oh, a blue star. You found a blue star? <gasps> Is that a star? Oh, Vega star. This is Vega right here. Crouching on the Vega star. Hey, we found Vega for Vegas. Is that a star too? Yeah. Oh, it's Capella. Nice to meet you, Capella star. Crouching on Capella. Hey, Mom, did you ever watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Yes, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I watch that as well in my room. I think I see one from a distance. Let's go. All right, let's go. You're right. Nice. There it is. Found Polaris. Okay. Four. Five more to go. Five more to go. Wow. Guys, does anybody see a star in here? There's no star, Kenny. Yep. This is beautiful. You see all the candles? We haven't went over here yet. There has to be a star in here. There's no star. What, what are you going to do? Look at the tree! Whoa! That's compared to us! That's the biggest Christmas tree that I have ever seen. I think that's a star! Whoa! We found the Whoa. That's my star because it's pink. And okay. Paris? Ah, get out of here, move! We love this weather, oh! I found Cyrus, so. Wow. That's not Cyrus. It's 
serious. Serious. Like your XM radio. Okay. <laughs> I am so serious. <laughs> We're literally knocking these stars out. You know I get serious. <laughs> keep finding these stars. Yeah. This is good. It's always the last star that's the hardest. Last year, we left without finding the last star. So it's this so year. Annoying. Well, it wasn't a star, it was a reindeer last year. I don't know, but we're going to have to find how to get to it. It's oh, no. there. I got a feeling that's it, though, bro. What's not? Nugget. Get in there with him. What? It says there's motion at our front door. Hmm. Come on, y'all. What's going on? Come on, Cannon, get down. Go. What are you talking no, about? We gotta, we gotta go. Hmm. What are you talking about? What do you mean, motion at the front door? It says there's a person at the front door, and I just looked at the cameras really quick, and it looks like the freaking door is open, wide open. Really? Show me! What the hell? Why don't you just exit right here? And draw it right here! I knew it! I found it! I found the star! The last star! Dude! What is going on? Why is my door open? Why is what it the f going on, babe? I thought somebody got in! There's nobody there! Come on, hurry up, man. Get, come on, get him in the car. Are you afraid to go home? Oh. What you mean? Get him in the car. We gotta. Oh my God! Come on, Gaden. Hold on. We gotta call the cops, man. Come on, babe. We gotta go, man. No. Come on. I'm not going back to that house. Yes, you are. I'm not going back to the house. Look, I literally checked all the rest of the cameras. There's nobody in there. There's no one in there except for the alien. That thing is not supposed to be glowing. Where are we gonna go? Go to a hotel. I don't care. When I hit rewind on the security cameras, we saw this. The ball is moving by itself. Told you. Cannon wasn't lying. When Cannon said he's seen stuff moving, he wasn't lying. Cannon, you really seen something moving? Just like this. I bet you it's just a glitch on the camera, babe. You think it that's a glitch? a glitch? You think that's a glitch? It's glowing. It doesn't even have a light. I can't do it. Uh, honestly, Marco, honestly, your, your choices are just, I can't do it. i never seen nothing like that in my life. I, I tried to get Babe, all chance. I do is try to get decor for the house, baby, and we just moved there. That's on you, man. That's on you, babe. So you just blaming it on me? I can't. You said go ahead and purchase it. Turn this off. I, can't do it. I don't know what to do. That is freaky, man. That's some freaky stuff. We're gonna have to go back. Hey, we can't go back. The door's man. open. Check it out first. Make sure there's no, nobody I'm in there. I'm not getting out the car, man. I'm scared. I'm not getting out. I can out. see from here. I don't see anybody inside. I'm not getting out the car. I'm not. We're just pulling up. Let's just pull up. Let me, let me go. Be here. careful. Let me just come check with me, bro. I'm not pulling in. You want me to get out the car? Why not? Why would I get out the car? All right, I'm gonna just pull in. Oh, man. No. Oh no. Do you hear that? Yeah, but you know what happened. Get in the pool today. We have to get in the pool. We promised the boys. Man. Marco, but the only scary thing is is we literally live so high. Like if you think our house is high, that house is higher. But our house is really elevated, like compared to the street. So that means there's a greater chance of being struck by lightning, Marco. I don't want to hurt the boys' feelings, but uh, this isn't looking good if these clouds don't roll over. No, but isn't it weird that like this side of the sky is like blue? And then this side is like a big storm rolling over us. 
boys are gonna be mad that they can't get in the pool because of this lightning storm. See here? Mm -mm. Is the water too cold? It's kind of chilly, but it feels good because it's so hot outside. Like, feel it. It's not too bad, right? If it starts raining, that's our definite sign that we're gonna have to cancel. You know, when we get lightning storms, it's bad. Oh, so, I just saw lightning! Where? Up right there? there! See, you guys can't get in. If it's gonna do that, we can't get in. Wait, Look at the rain. Man. Thank God they're almost done with your car, huh? Marco has guys over here cleaning our cars. They're just finishing the last one. This is crazy, man. It's great. I know. That sucks. At least the other two are done, huh? It's gonna come, it's gonna come down faster. Dang, I can't believe those people are still working up there on top of that hill with the lightning that close. That is scary. I would not want to be anywhere close. Marco! What? It's raining really bad. Yeah, I see. It looks like the, the jacuzzi is spilling over into the pool. It, if it gets that high, it's gonna come into the house. Oh my gosh, guys, you will not believe this. Wow. Look at that. It's almost getting flush with the thing, babe. I wonder what it's gonna look like by the time I we hope get it back. Stop raining. It's like coming through here now. This is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh, look at the front of the house. Guys, this is crazy. That is some thick rain. We never get rain. We literally live in the desert. It's coming down and it's coming down hard. This is why we can't go swimming. What the, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Gosh, look! All the way up there, it's raining down onto all of our I furniture. I can smell the clouds. I know, this smells kind of good, huh? No. You don't like that smell? No, I don't like it. it. smells like fresh rain. This is crazy. I'm hoping that it doesn't flood our uh, pool. Yeah, I mean, don't in our house. Ugh. That would suck, because see, we have the living where it's like outdoor indoor living oh. why do you think i'm gonna have a baby in my belly i want a baby why do you want a baby what will you call her i'll call her i'll call her um Alyssa. Alyssa? yeah Alyssa. in my belly Alyssa? yeah a girl. that's my best friend's name oh you have a best friend one of my best friends when I was little, her name was Alyssa. Mmm, cool. <laughs> oh, I think he might be in the garage with the cars. Is the water getting into the garage? It's trying. Where? Oh my god, I can hear it. It's coming harder, babe. Oh my god. Oh. It's flood in the garage, babe. It's just the wall of that. No, it's... It... You better... You, you better... You gotta keep it closed, honey. You gotta keep that close. But you know where? Oh, look at our thing, our pipe. Yes! It's of the pipe It's pouring out of the pipe right there. Oh this my god. Is crazy! I think one of the pipes bust, babe. You see how that water's coming? Yeah, I see it. It's really, really bad. Oh. Guys, we never get rain like this in the desert, ever. Honey, you know which window we gotta check? The window in the dining room. Oh my God. And I gotta check over here. I gotta see if these cars, I gotta see if it's getting in over here. It's wet spots coming in. Oh crap. It's leaking in from outside. Check the windows over here. Nothing. Oh, but see that one over there? It's shooting out. It's shooting water from our roof out. Oh my gosh. Movie theater. It's the movie theater, but the kids playroom right now no thank god look thank god for this shelter right here as long as the water doesn't start to seep into here we're good we still haven't checked the, the door which door let me see anything no no luckily because we have the covering above it's not leaking into the front door but sometimes over here it gets really wet Check and there's nothing. Nothing? Yeah. All right. That's good. 
Nothing's leaking in right now from over here. I hope you guys be safe in your appointment. I know, we will, honey. Don't worry about us. We're good. We'll be good. Oh my god, this is insane. Guys, a literal tree behind us was struck by lightning and fell to the ground. How's the rain so strong that I can break a tree? I don't know, but I know the tree is down. Hold on, we're about to get out and look at this. This is freaking crazy, dude. Look at where it hit. It literally hit this tree and the tree fell. It's so crazy. Oh my God, the whole, look at that. The whole tree just fell down. It's just like in the middle of the street. That's so crazy. Here's the rest of the tree and then the part that fell and then what it's supposed to look like. I'm out of here. That looks crazy. It is looking insane, babe. Oh my God, look at how bad it's rained on the ground. This is so much flooding. This is crazy. We literally have a flash flood warning for the next like hour or two. Look at this. It's, it's raining so, so hard. It's raining so bad. It's starting to flood on the streets. And like, if you see, like you can see the strip here. It's already moved past the strip. But like, look at this. This is crazy. This, we're like right in the middle of it. Babe, the whole car getting wet. The whole car side. is getting wet. So I have to. Can you do it from your side? My fingernail can't do it. This is like insane how much rain is just getting into the car from a little bit. Like, I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys so you can see. It's moving past the strip. That's insane. But like over here, you can barely see the city. So all these people are getting rained on, including us right now. And it's heavy storm rain. It's like raining all the way inside of the car. Oh shoot, it's getting bad. Yeah, and I also hope the homeless people are okay. Oh my God, I can't even imagine right now, Mark Cannon, I can't. It looks like it's trying to pass by, but we look like we're literally just up under the storm right now. Do you see how big that storm cloud wow. is right there? It's, it's they're definitely over. pouring all over that mountain. Yeah, everyone's gonna be okay, all right guys? I don't know how long this flood is gonna be. I don't know, it was only supposed to be for like three hours. Like three hours, but then I think it got extended. It's coming down even harder. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area to flooding or under an evacuation order. You literally can't even see the strip now. It's yeah. moving that way. You see that? It's not, it's moving towards the strip. Yeah, we're safe, guys. Everything's gonna be all right. If you guys are watching this, I hope you guys are safe. I hope so too, guys. Please stay safe anytime. Look at our street. Our entire street's flooding. This is so bad. Oh my God, hold on, I gotta show you guys our street. I, I don't even know, I can't even show you. You can't really see it that well, but the sides of our streets are starting to flood up. Look at these people still working on houses. They just never give up on their jobs. That's crazy. They're still out working to build the house. We were supposed to pick up dinner though, guys. I don't know if anyone can even drive in these conditions to get us food for dinner. Yeah, you can. What am I supposed to do? Pay someone to come drop it off? Or, or, or you can I make some- I have no clue. I just think that it's very what? dangerous for anybody to be in this type of weather. Or you can make some yeah. food. Or you can make us some food. You want mommy to make some food? Yeah, for us. But why are you laughing, Braylon? What's so funny about that? <laughs> What's wrong if I cook some food? Hmm? You got something to say to the Beverly Hall family that you've been keeping from me? Well, I mean, we can cook, but... Are you sure about eat that? Is Uber Eats. I, 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 I think you're not a good cooker. Can you cook me some dumplings? Huh? Cannon. I cannot cook dumplings. I don't know that means, how. That means that you're not a good cooker then. No, that doesn't mean that. Well, what can you create? What can you make for dinner? I don't know. I don't even know what food we have in the house. I never cook. That's a big challenge for me to do that. It's going to be bad if we open up our garage door. It's going to be bad. The wind, the wind, it's going to blow so, it's going to blow so hard. I don't know. I really wanted a piece of cheesecake. 
Oh my gosh, babe has to run in the house. So I think we're gonna go pick up my cheesecake and pick up some dinner for the kids. Um, what? Are you laughing at me because you think I can't cook? No, I'm, 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 I'm surprised because dinner, man. What is dinner gonna be? Wait, y'all kind of y'all trying to act like we don't feed you guys? No. Don't don't lie to the Beverly Hall family now. I, I need you to not lie. I can't even see my face because he's Can you stop putting your face in front of Braylon's face so Braylon can't talk? I look so ugly though. Look you look fine. I don't know what that is going on on top of your head. It looks like a do-rag and a bucket hat together. What inspired your fast fashion choice today? Um, I don't have a hairline. Why don't you have a hairline? I don't know. Bro, what happened to your hairline? Um, long time, long story. We're listening. Long story. I'm not saying it. You're not going to tell the Beverly Hall family what happened to your hairline? Let us know in the comments if you guys want to. No, 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 story. I know, I know his hairline. What happened to his hairline? No, you don't. Yes, I do. Braylon decided to cut it himself. Yeah. And I directly cut my hair, like my hairline and my edges. I just bro, you it. took that hairline clean off. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You took the hairline clean off. Yeah. Well, I mean. I didn't really care because I just felt like, oh, in the next week or so, it'll be back, you know? And what's grows, happened? It grows pretty quick, so yeah, I don't care. And and so what happened to your hairline after those couple of days? Some hair grew back. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to show Beverly Hall family a sneak peek of that hairline? Uh, no. No! Uh, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. If you're not going to show the Beverly Hall family a sneak peek of that hairline, I don't blame you. But yikes. Wait, is it finally clearing up? Looks like it. What's well, not clearing up? It's almost 4.15. That means we can go get my cheesecake. Exactly what I've been looking for all day. Since yesterday, guys. Where, oh, where is my husband? Where, oh, where could he be? Oh, there he is. I forgot because he's in the Chevy Malibu. I was looking for a Mercedes, but I didn't see it. <laughs> no. All right, the storm has finally calmed down. And hi, Cannon. Hi. Look what Daddy wants to do. What is he doing? He's moving around all the furniture in the house. What? He's changing the gray living room to the white living room and the white living room to the gray living room. Yeah. Ooh, wee, it's really heavy, guys. Let me help Daddy. Let's push this one over here. Beverly Hall family. Too far up. Oh, too far up? The other one was on this. You see where those legs are? Wow, Cannon, you're so strong. What the heck, dude? I could see how this goes with the like fireplace more. Cannon, you really are built different, dude. Yeah. Dang. If you weren't built different, you there's no way you'd be able to move that. All right, so do you want to? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm pushing over there. Not over there. You're doing too much now. You're doing, yeah, too, now much. I'm doing too much. So. Well, somebody is gonna no. Right. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this white one. Can you push this white one over there? Go ahead, let me see if you're strong enough. Oh, bottle of water. Yeah, let me see. Let's see if you can push it. Wow, Mark Cannon. Dude, you're so strong. You think you can push this one too? Yeah, Oh fun. my God, see who needs to hire movers when you have Cannon? Cannon's built different. Dang, Mark Cannon, you're so strong, dude. Yeah, you gotta keep it in order now. Ooh. Ooh. That's even heavy for me. How? Try, try it. I tried it, it's so hard. Do you think that this is gonna look better or worse? It literally sounds like a train. 
Yeah. He's heavy. Way heavy. I know. These? Those are really heavy. Maybe you help daddy carry that one. Stop. Can't do oh, that it. one's way too heavy. Stop when you push the horse too far. Until you fart. That's what happens. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know, Beverly Hoffman. What do you think? Do you feel like you can see it? I can kind of see it. I could see it. I think the gray is going to look nice. Heck yeah. Wow, I hope it fits perfectly. All right, guys, I'm going to come back as soon as everything is all lined up and show you what it looks like. Marco's doing more than just the couches. He's switching the whole thing up. The whole vibe. We got the gray chair over there now, white chair over here. Now we're still switching. We got to move the coffee table. This black thing. Babe, you're rearranging the whole house. That's a dump. It's not flowing right. It's not flowing right? It's bothering me, yeah. This is what happens when you live with someone with OCD. 